This video is about first degree heart block or first degree AV block. First degree heart block is all about PR interval. So let us first look at the PR interval of the ECG. The PR interval is the time from the onset of the P wave to the start of the QRS complex. It reflects conduction of electrical impulse from the SN node through the atria and then through the AV node. Although most of the time is spent at the AV node, known as AV nodal delay. Now the normal PR interval is between 120 to 200 milliseconds or 0 0.12 to 0.20 seconds or 3 to 5 small squares on ECG paper. Here instead of remembering 120 to 200 milliseconds or 0 0.12 to 0 0.2 seconds it would be better and more practical to remember 3 to 5 small squares because whenever you look into an ECG you see these small and big squares and not the seconds or milliseconds now coming back to the first degree hard block if the PR interval is more than 200 milliseconds meaning more than five small squares then first degree hard block is said to be present so simply put first degree hard block is prolonged PR interval when the PR interval prolongs more than 0 0.3 seconds or 300 milliseconds the first degree AV block is called mark in certain situations the P waves can be within the preceding T waves it is generally asymptomatic and without significant complications for the vast majority of patients no treatment is necessary beyond routine observation for worsening conduction delay regular evaluation is essential as affected patients have demonstrated an increased risk of developing atrial fibrillation or higher degree AV blocks such as second degree or complete heart blocks. Now coming to the etiology of first degree heart block, researchers have attributed first degree AV block to increase vagal tone in younger patients as many of the early population studies of the condition utilize young healthy volunteers. Fibrotic changes in the cardiac conduction system appear to be one of the common etiologies in elderly patients. Coronary heart disease, myocardial infarction, electrolyte abnormalities, particularly hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia, inflammation, infections like endocarditis, rheumatic fever, Chagas disease, Lyme disease, diphtheria, and drugs like antiarrhythmics class 1A, 1C, 2, 3, 4 and digoxin, infiltrative diseases like sarcoidosis, collagen vascular diseases like SLE, rheumatoid arthritis and scleroderma, idiopathic degenerative diseases like Lennox Gray's and Lev's diseases and neuromuscular disorders are identifiable causes of first degree AV block. Prevalence of first degree heart block increases with age, with most studies finding a prevalence of 1% to 1.5% until the age of 60, at which the prevalence rises to approximately 6%. It is more common in males with an approximate 2 is to 1 ratio of males to females. Prevalence rates above 10% have been observed in populations of young athletes suggesting that increased parasympathetic autonomic tone plays a role in the development of first degree AV block in younger patients. Electrophysiological studies have shown that PR interval prolongation could be due to conduction delay located at the atrioventricular node, right atrium or the his Purkinje system. However, the most commonly affected place is the AV node. 
The presence of first degree AV block on ECG represents prolonged conduction in the AV node, commonly due to increased vagal tone in younger patients and fibrosis of the conduction system in older patients. Even though the conduction slows, every impulse originated from the atrium is passed to the ventricles. The prolonged conduction time is well tolerated, especially when the PR interval remains shorter than 0.3 seconds. As the PR interval extends beyond 0.3 seconds, synchrony of atrial and ventricular systole worsens potentially resulting in poor ventricular preload and symptoms of the pacemaker syndrome appears. First degree AV block is almost universally without associated symptoms. Patients will frequently be unaware of the condition until it appears on routine electrocardiography. Upon recognition of the PR interval prolongation, a thorough history should be obtained with a specific focus on any history of congenital or acquired heart disease, risk factors for heart disease, family history of cardiac disease, the presence of neuromuscular disease, or family history of neuromuscular disease. In a high-grade first-degree block, that is the mark first-degree AV block, patients may develop symptoms similar to pacemaker syndrome such like this near malaise lightheadedness chest pain or even syncope due to poor synchronization of atrial and ventricular contractions for the majority of patients with first degree AV block there is no need for treatment the american heart association guidelines do not recommend permanent pacemaker placement for patients with first degree AV block with the exception of patients with PR interval greater than 0.3 seconds who are experiencing symptoms believed to be due to the AV block.